Puddle boarding, a very relaxing sport. Until it's not. Breaking news as California is effectively under lockdown tonight as the surge of coronavirus cases exploding across the U.S. is now slamming head on into the country's largest state. Tonight, Governor Gavin Newsom says he's stopping indoor dining in restaurants and closing all bars, wineries and movie theaters statewide. After a weekend that saw the state's beaches overflowing, the governor is also closing gyms, churches and non-essential offices in the state's 30 hardest hit counties, essentially shutting down California for 80% of people living there. A long time ago, after retiring from his galactic conquest far, far away, Akin Sip Walker spends his retirement life doing outdoor activities on planet Earth. Today, he woke up this morning and decided to explore the world through paddling. For someone who just woke up, that sounds like he's still dreaming. Well, big dreams started from somewhere. However, a global pandemic requires everyone to wear facial protection. Apparently, as a former galactic conqueror, he's been wearing masks for years. Unless he used his power of the force to just hover on the water, to paddle efficiently and practically, he has to let go of his heavy helmet and bulky armor. Just wearing a portable breather mask. Coupled with a much lighter suit. He's ready to go paddling for the first time. And besides, he needs to keep a low profile if he wants to blend in with humans. You don't see someone wearing a full battle armor in a helmet, paddling on the water. On his previous conquest by the name Seth Vader, he is accustomed to command 
thousands of troops. So paddling alone by himself is not something he's gotten used to. That's why employing a human to document this outdoor endeavor is a must. Hey, Sat. You're here. Yep, I'm here. No questions here. Is this your guys? What? Of course I was going to make it down here. I'm always up for an adventure. Whatever. What is your opinion of what this planet? That's so beautiful out here. Look at the river. Agree. So, does this thing actually carry your weight? Yes. 400 pounds. Wow. Really? Okay, I believe you. <laughs> I will finish fueling the sheep when you take a footage of the surroundings. Haha, <laughs> alright, Lord Vader. So, Sept and I met at a volunteering event, and I've always known him as sort of the geeky type. Um, he's always mentioning all these pop culture references, so I was quite surprised when he mentioned the paddleboarding um, because to me he's kind of an introvert, so to do like outdoor activities is kind of out of his comfort zone, or at least in my opinion. So. I know that he's the type of person that when he sets his mind on to something, he's he's just gonna go for it. And so he, he, he bought a paddle board online and he wanted to go on this adventure by the LA River because originally we were supposed to go to Marina del Rey or somewhere with more calm and mellow waters. Um, but due to COVID, we decided to go somewhere where it's, it's more, there, there's less people and it's more open. Usual paddling in LA River starts from Atwater Village to Frogtown. But such route is too short for an adventurer like Set Walker. So he decided to take it farther north, starting from the back of the Hollywood sign at the Hollywood Studio Lads and ends in Glendale Junction. That's around 10 miles of paddling, and as a first-timer, is he biting more than he can chew? That remains to be seen. One thing is for sure, he's in for a rude awakening. First timer, I think it's normal to fall a few times, you know, or actually like a dozen times. Surprisingly, maintaining balance on the inflatable board is a challenge for Sep Walker. At one point, he loses his cool. So he finally decided to use his power of the force. So much for keeping a low profile. I, I thought the LA River was dried up. And I thought it was actually just like sewage water. So to see trees and birds and like life and like an actual river, it was very shocking to me. It was very, it was like such a pleasant surprise. I, I loved it. As you can see, it's beautiful right here, see? And people sometimes just don't respect the river. 
I have a friend that comes down here almost every other day and he takes trash bags and he walks into the river and he picks up trash, at least 10 trash bags, because the beautification of the river. So I want to make sure that this river is there for my children as well as my grandchildren. And everybody else feels the same. This is the pride of the neighborhood. Then he discovered hidden paths in between those floras. Hello everyone. Thank you for watching the first episode. Is this really necessary? Please follow me on my future puddle adventures. This is so out of character. Join me as I puddle around the world. That's more like it. Watch part two of this episode or I'll get angry. You don't want to see me when I get angry. Well, but the line from Incredible Hulk is so like it. One more thing. Watch all the way to the ending credit scene. Don't fail me again, young Padawan. Okay, better up. You, I know you. What is it that you want? Ooh! <laughs> 